So, I had this Pokemon Crystal cartridge for years. We got it brand new, or at least it appeared to be brand new, for my 13th birthday. A few months after it came out, I cherished it. That was until Emerald came out. Then I forgot about it for a while. Then Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out, and I was struck with a huge wave of nostalgia. I had to dig out my crystal just to play it again. And I did. And I cleaned it out and I started it up. Call me stupid, but I got so excited that a tear or two came down my face. I was instantly bored when I looked at my old team and thought, I was one of those noobs that just used Pokemon that looked cool to me or found cute. You know, like Houndoom, Charmander, Squirtle, Meowth, Raichu, and Dragonite. And even more sadly, those were the only Pokemon I had around level 60. So, I deposited all of my Pokemon, but my Houndoom, my Dragonite, and Raichu. And I got my and I got a team that actually was complete and competent. With a slow king that was forgotten in the box and a vile plume from the good old days of red. And lastly, I went through headbutting trees to try to get a pineco or a heracross. I tried for hours until the game stalled. I screamed because I had worked so hard for the game to crash. At this point? Suddenly my rage was silenced though. The battle music continued. And a Gengar of all things came out of the tree. And it was a shiny one. I was confused, but extremely excited. Gengar was one of my absolute favorite Pokemon, and it was a strong Pokemon that would balance out my team. Perfect. I caught it and looked at it. It knew Curse, Density Bond, Nightmare, and Hypnosis. Seemed pretty normal to me, except that its special attack stat was a big ugly glitch box. I didn't think much of it, and kept going. As soon as the game's clock ticked over 8pm, the game stalled again, and a strange text box appeared. You didn't think about this too much, did you? Time to have some fun. I never saw anything like that happen in a game before. I blinked for a moment and pressed A, thinking that it might just been a crazy easter egg. Oh well. I kept playing and went to the grass to find some Pokemon and I didn't have in my Pokedex. A battle started and my trainer sent out. Gengar? Wait, I thought I had Raichu at the top of my line. I thought I must have absentmindedly switched them around since I usually train newly caught Pokemon right away. I used the combo of Hano Hypnosis and Nightmare on the Pokemon to see if it would be effective. And I regretted it. For whatever reason, when the Gengar used Nightmare, the screen turned solid red and a bunch of horrid glitch sounds happened before it turned back to show the Pokemon fainting. My ears were throbbing from the glitch sounds. I was convinced I had just caught a glitched Pokemon. In fear of my data, I checked everything. My save file, my items, my trainer profile, my Poke gear, my Pokemon. Nothing had changed. Gengar even still had that ugly glitch block stat in it. Relieved, I shut out the start menu, and then another text box appeared. That gave you a good scare, didn't it? But it's not the scare I want. Okay, what the hell is going on? The game just talked to me? My stomach dropped as soon as I read that. But I really wanted to finish Crystal before I played the new games. And for a long time, dull battles and catching Pokemon, I went to Mount Silver to catch some other Pokemon. As soon as I finished flying there, though, a new text box came up. You haven't forgotten already, have you? With that came the yes-no option box. Not knowing what the game was talking about, I just hit yes. Oh my foolish girl. See me around midnight. There was nothing after that. I looked at the clock and it was 
I guess I had 10 or 11 minutes to see what was going here. I kept going as I wanted to at first, and surely enough, the timer ticked over to 12 a.m. I was greeted by another textbook. I have a surprise for you. With that, the screen turned black. Save for the girl sprite that was supposed to be me. I froze, thinking my game was screwed over. I mashed buttons and tried to walk out of it. After what seemed like an eternity, finally, another text box came up. What do you think of the spirit world? Do you like it? Another yes-no came up. I quickly hit no. I didn't know what was going on here, but really, I did not like it. I never had once seen a Pokemon game mention the afterlife, save for, Laver La save for Lavender Town. The game answered, Oh, how unfortunate. It'll be your home later. Do you want to go back? There was another yes or no. I quickly hit yes, trembling. Something told me something horrible was at play here, and the game answered again. Are you sure? I can do that, but you'll have to pay the toll. I warn you, it is a great price. I remembered the rocket guard from Lake of Rage after that. I didn't care, whatever the hell it was could have all my money, I just didn't want to stay there. So I hit yes, once again, and answered. <laughs> Selfish trainer, you were warned. That line gave me the chills. My trainer's sprite did the escape rope animation, and the game stalled after I was back at the spot I was before everything happened. After seven seconds, I got the message. Sparky has fainted. Nervously, I quickly went to check on him. To my horror... My beloved Raichu was missing completely. I quickly exited the menu to see if I could still find him at the Pokemon Center, but as soon as I did, another text came up. Oh, I wouldn't bother with that. He's long gone. I growled, both terrified and angry, and pressed A. The text continued. I took him. It was the toll you owed, you selfish girl. You sacrificed him. You agreed to it. Now, <laughs> he'll never come back. I felt horrible. Whatever was talking to me was right. I did agree to it. Nearly to tears and shaking, I pressed A again. That time you were scared. I admit it. Oh. But just you wait until 3 a.m. I, I didn't know what I was talking about. What do you mean this time? What sick trick did it have waiting for me? I didn't want to find out, but I felt like I had to do it. I had to get back at what was messing with me. And the only chance I'd get is if I encountered it again. I kept playing until 3 a.m., I was exhausted, but I didn't care. Finally, another text box appeared. You really were foolish enough to see. I like you. I have a lesson for you. Then there was another long pause before. But before you learn, let me relieve your friends. After that, I got the same horrid glitch sound in the red screen that came when Gengar's nightmare attack happened, followed by Dragonite has fainted, Slowking has fainted, Houndoom has fainted, Vileplume has fainted. I almost felt sick reading all those. I wanted to cry when I checked my team. They were all gone, except for that Gengar. Which, for every reason I wish, had gone. I exited out the menu cautiously, and it told me more. They're better off dead, you see. You 
are no better than him. Him? What, what was he talking about? And why did this Gengar have to kill my Pokemon to get this message across? Do you know who I am yet? Tell me my name. I thought and put in the name of my rival. Silver? The game just answered. No. And it made me type it again. So this time I tried... Giovanni? No. I tried with several trainer names, and even some made-up ones, until I had tried the only thing I could think of. Gengar. Took you long enough. Then, Gengar's overworld sprite appeared beside mine. Now, I regretted catching that stupid thing. It messed with me and destroyed the Pokemon I worked so hard on. But Gengar's game was not done yet. It wasn't even close. Now that you know, I'll continue. You know better than him. I'll show you what I mean. The screen did that horrible nightmare animation again before turning completely black. When anything reappeared on the screen, it was a Pokemon sprite in the middle of a room. Then I got another text box. You no longer have control. I sat confused by the message before I realized I was the Pokemon. I pressed A, and Silver Sprite walked in the room and stopped to talk to me. Sneasel, are you ready to train? I didn't have any options. I just hit, hit A and watched. No? Too bad. Come on. With that, Silver dragged my helpless sprite out of the room and into a Pokemon battle with a Pokemon that had a much higher level than me. A Rapidash, to be exact. Before anything happened, the text read, You know this can't end well. You tremble in fear. After that, Silver yelled orders at me, and Rapidash attacked first. It was just a quick attack, so I survived. I didn't want to do it. But the battle continued with the following message. You screamed in pain at the attack, but he doesn't care. You can't run away. You're bound by that accursed Pokeball. Stupid Sneasel, get up and attack already! You struggle and try to attack, but it missed. Your master is angry now, you know. I cringed, hoping that it would just end at that, but it didn't. What part of attack don't you understand? <sighs> if it kills you, that's your fault. You shouldn't have been so worthless. Then the Rapidash attacked me again. This time it was a fire attack leaving me with only two HP. You scream and writhe, but as you fall to the ground crying in pain, he doesn't care. You just want everything to go away now. But does your master care? Of course not. Can you be any more useless, idiot? Attack now! This time I did attack, and it landed. But unfortunately, Rapidash got the best of me. Sneasel's usual fainting sound turned into a sickening screech as the sprite fell. I felt horrible with all the insults that Silder was throwing at me. Same things I yelled at my Pokemon when frustrated the game. Silver approached my sprite and had one more thing to say. <laughs> You're worthless and pathetic. I guess I have to keep going and doing this until you learn to actually fight. With that, it went back to the overworld, where Silver stood for a moment before kicking me and walking off. Then another text appeared. You've dealt with this for a long time. You don't want it anymore. This is the only thing to do. And then I watched in horror as my Pokemon sprite moved from the water 
kept begging and look help, looking helplessly, hoping it was about to do what I thought it was. But I should have known better. The sprite stopped at the edge before a text box appeared. The pain and torment will end for good this way. And the sprite jumped in the water and disappeared. After several splashing sounds, the screen faded to black and again. Eventually, only my sprite and Gengar appeared in the middle of the screen. And Gengar turned to me. <laughs> I told you this world would be your home, but you do not see the wrong you're doing now. You deserve every bit of this. I'm doing them a favor by getting rid of the ones like you. Now, you get to suffer forever while you think about what you did. Then suddenly the screen turned red before it went back to my sprite which abruptly turned red and spun where it was really fast, and that horrible glitch sound started, but this time it was a never-ending loop. I even turned the game off and started it up, but upon loading my safe sprite, it's all stuck with that horrid loop. It would never stop and just continued. I wish I'd never had caught that stupid Gengar. Then I would actually be able to enjoy playing Pokemon still. But now I realize it all. I really am no better than Silver when playing the game. The game might portray me as some sort of loving hero, but I cry my Pokemon to what should be past their limits. I see them as nothing but a bunch of pixels. My tools for my entertainment. I scream at them when they don't work exactly as I planned to. All the while, if they were real, they'd probably be suffering with so much pain, just waiting it for all to end. If you ever randomly find a Gengar in Crystal, take my word and leave it alone. Don't catch it. Who knows what lessons it has to teach you.